I've never seen anything like this before. Good morning guys, welcome back to Bow Hall. We have just picked up our bike for rent for the next two days. We've got a brand new little Honda Click. Probably the nicest bike we've had so far. Yeah, there's a few scratches on it. I don't know what someone done to it before we had it, but it's pretty much brand new. Yeah, we're gonna jump on, we're gonna head to the main island and we're gonna check out as much as we can in one day. Yeah. But first of all, we need to get petrol. We made it to the first stop of the day. Bohol is a lot bigger than I thought. It actually took like a two hour drive or like an hour and 45 minute drive to get here. Yeah, it was very long. So the first stop we've come to is the Chocolate Hills and it's probably the number one thing to do yeah. in Bohol. But we've just got some steps to climb up now. We're Ooh. heading up here and now we can show you the view. We've had some sneak peeks along the way and it literally looks amazing. Yeah, the drive here was literally through a lot of the chocolate hills and stuff. Apparently there's 1,200 of them. Wow. It's crazy, but yeah, we're headed up now. We're going to check out the video. This is insane. I've never seen anything like this before. It looks like something out of Powertail. It, it's kind of like Fairy Glen in Scotland. It is, but... But way bigger. Bigger hills, bigger area, everything. It's crazy. It's literally like a 360 all the way around look at that it's nuts this is a hundred percent where tinkerbell lives it definitely isn't as busy as i thought it would be either no it's so quiet i thought it'd be a lot busier there's a few people here but not it's not like that busy no and considering it's like the top thing to do here and it's not that early it's no it's about midday 11, 12 yeah so peak time really well, this is sick. This is really cool. It almost doesn't look real. It looks like something out of a film, doesn't it? Yeah, this is natural as well. It's not man-made. It's just there. There was a sign down some steps somewhere. We'll have a look around and give you some facts. Because I'm quite intrigued to know a bit more about it as well. Like, what are they made out of? Chocolate. Chocolate hills. Uh -huh. <gasps> There's actually an ATV course that like goes through the the chocolate hills and i don't know if you can see but there's some people down there just having some sort of like safety brief or something all on atvs that looks like so much fun and there's a nice breeze up here as well i know it's lovely they've actually got a bell right here as well so i'm definitely going to give this a ring <laughs> i mean that's what's there for right I guess so, it doesn't say you're not allowed to use it, so... The view is class up here, highly, highly, highly recommend. Okay, so we just read the information board now, so a couple of quick facts. Uh, two million years ago, the island of Bohol was actually underwater completely. Yeah, so it was all coral basically, and over time the land rose, and then the rainwater actually eroded the coral into these formations that are the hills. Yeah, and over time again, the grass has grown and the trees have grown on the hills. And the reason they're called chocolate hills is because in the dry season, they're actually brown. It's actually dry season now, but they're not too brown. much rain. Yes. Yeah. So they're, they're nice green. and green. They Which, look lovely though. It's, it's honestly like, it just doesn't look real. It is like, it is like a fairy tale, like you said. Yeah. And it 100% reminds me of Fairy Glen in Scotland, but a hundred times bigger. Yeah. It's like a mixture of something out of a fairy tale and Avatar. Yeah. Right, we can stand here all day watching this view, but we can't. So we need to move on to our next stop. So we're going to take a couple of pictures and head, head out. Okay, we've pulled up to the side of the road because 
there is a waterfall so we're going to run down and check it out it's not much of a waterfall it's called Bousset waterfalls it's not actually all that much to be honest but still pretty cool <laughs> not bad for something we didn't intend to see but as we pulled up all these kids just came running in from like the little, the little, the little houses uh, nearby right let's head to the next stop yeah. they're all like following it was to come to the Sipatan Twin Hanging Bridge and we've turned up and sadly It'll it has literally destroyed. been destroyed I'm gonna presume by the typhoon that they had In December probably In December but there was literally nothing left That is so That's sad wild. It was from looking online as well the bridge was like pretty strong Yeah it was a bamboo bridge I think Yeah it never said anything online either, so we didn't even expect this. No. That's crazy. Oh. Right, so we just go ahead to the next stop then. Yeah, I guess we'll just have to head to the next stop. Okay, so we've made it to our last stop of the day, which is the Tarsia Sanctuary. Now, I am so excited about this. I don't know about you. We don't really know that much about them, but I think that's more exciting. So we're going to head in. I've heard that we've got to talk a bit quiet, so bear with us when it comes to that and hopefully we'll see some Tarsias. So for those of you that don't know, a Tarsia is the world's smallest primate. It's like a really, really, really small monkey, but it's not a monkey. It's not a monkey. It's not a monkey. It's just a, <laughs> the world's smallest primate. Hopefully we'll learn some more about them and we'll be able to Let give you know. some more info. A Tarsia is a primate, but not a monkey. Tarsiers can jump three meters from tree to tree. So we have to be really quiet because they're resting. Oh my god! They're tiny! It's fully grown. It's fully grown. More than ten years old. How, how old? More than ten years. Ten years old. That's crazy. It's like the size of my hand. No, it's not. How small? It's how small are the baby babies? Just like this. Like a thumb. Yeah. So the baby is the same size as a thumb. They're sleeping. How long do they sleep for a day? For the whole day. They sleep all day. Yeah. What, when, when do they eat? During night time. Oh, so they sleep all day and then they're awake in the night? Yeah. Uh -huh. What do they eat? Insects. Huh? They eat insects. A Tarsia quiz. Okay. Is the Tarsia a monkey? No. The tarsia is not a monkey. What does it mean that the Tarsia is an endangered species? Endangered species has at least 20% chance of completely vanishing from the world in the next 20 years. Oh my gosh, so that might be like the last time we've ever seen one. Yeah, well, it's the first time last time we will ever see one. Wow. I've never seen an endangered species, let alone that call. What, what does nocturnal mean? It sleeps in the day, like she said. Yeah, we meant that. Tazi is nocturnal, meaning it is active at night. What's a Tazi? We also learned this. Tazi Tarsiers eat insects. They eat lizards. Insects primarily, and then sometimes lizards and small birds. Oh, it's probably smaller than a lizard and a bird. Yeah. What are the threats to the Tarsiers? Oh, I don't know. Habitat destruction. House, House cats, cats. Hunting and trade. Okay, I just asked. And Tarsiers can actually be found in Malaysia, Indonesia, and there's a few other islands in the Philippines where they can be found but this is the only place where there's a sanctuary so pretty much this is the only place you can come and see them I think there's one other place on this island Yeah. but, but this, this is, is the only island you can come and see them everywhere else they, they live in the wild so there's probably a really low chance of you finding one in the wild especially because they're that small Yeah. like if we didn't have a guy to show us where they were I would have been walking around there for hours wouldn't be able to find them no I wouldn't, you wouldn't have a chance that's definitely my favourite spot of the day. I, I really like chocolate hills, but yeah, I think that's got to take it. Just because it's something that you literally cannot see. I know you, the chocolate hills you can't really see anywhere else, but 
you can't see the animal anywhere, like anywhere. No. Wow, that was so cool. I, knew, I was looking forward to it anyway, but like, I feel like it exceeded my expectations. I didn't expect them to be that small. I hope the clips we took in there were, you could hear, because we had to be yeah. very quiet, obviously to stop, like not interrupt their rest. Yeah. And we couldn't spend too much time with each one because they say you should only spend like 30 seconds with a wild, like an animal in the wild because that's yeah. basically what it is. It's got, they've got such a big area back there. Yeah, it is basically in the wild, isn't it? Um, because it just like disrupts them and their routine and stuff. So yeah, super cool. Definitely check it out if you're ever on Bohol Island. 100%. That was awesome. But for now, I think we've got about a half hour ride back to Alona Beach. Yeah. I was thinking of catching a sunset, but this is the current cloud situation. It's not looking good. So I think we're just going to head back and maybe grab some food from somewhere. Yeah, sounds like a good idea to me. What a long day of driving. We didn't realise how big Boha was. Yeah, I don't even think we've got, like, we've filmed that much. I think it's literally just been driving <laughs> from one place. It's absolutely massive. Considering, like, it's an island, I, I wonder how big it actually is. Because we drove almost two hours just to get to the Chocolate Hills. And then it was half hour to the other spot that we were the, the hanging bridge that we didn't get to see yeah. and then another half hour to get here and then probably like an hour hour a bit more to get back yeah definitely been worth it though I've had a lovely day I've really enjoyed yeah definitely recommend coming here and Chocolate Hills was awesome as well yeah 100% we don't know what we're doing tomorrow yet so we will find out yeah but I think we're going to end it here yeah if you are new around here please hit subscribe give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the Tazia no. Let us know in the comments what would you prefer, the Chopper Hills or the Tazias, and we will see you again in the next one.